Stay tuned after this brief message from GE Aviation. Early FETT is all about producing the mature product that we've committed to our customers, whether they're Boeing or whether they're the individual airlines. Boeing's new 737 MAX 8 narrowbody is making its full international debut at the 2016 Farnborough Air Show, just over 12 months before it's due to enter service in the third quarter of 2017. The aircraft on display is the fourth of the new model to roll off Boeing's Renton production line, and it is a key part of the US manufacturer's efforts to complete FAA certification while also hitting its right at first flight goals for entry into service reliability. Yeah, this is the airplane that we call technically 1A004, and that's our fourth flight test airplane. We have four Maxes in our flight test livery, uh, and this airplane has a full interior on it. This is the airplane that what we're going to be doing mainly with it is doing a lot of our right at first flight activity to assure that the airplane is acting the way it should when an airline puts it into airline revenue service. Additionally, from a certification standpoint, this is the airplane that will also be demonstrating our capability to fly ETOPS. And ETOPS is flying long distances over water to assure that we've got a safe and reliable service. FAA requires, as does EASA, certain elements to be done as part of that ETOPS package and that's what we're going to be using this airplane for. Additionally, the FAA requires what they call functional and reliability testing. And frankly, that's going out and just operating it like an airline. So this is the airplane that's really going to be demonstrating that it can operate well in airline service. The 737 MAX is powered by CFM's Leap 1B engine, which is driving the promised 20% saving in fuel costs compared with previous generation narrow bodies. Boeing also brags that the MAX will deliver 8% lower operating costs than its main rival, the Airbus A320neo. One of the biggest challenges of the program, in addition to offering all of the fuel burn and emissions benefits that we, we promised, is really making sure that the airplane can operate just like a 737NG, which currently is the most reliable airplane in commercial service. A high hurdle to make. So we have to make sure that when we put the MAX into service, it's going to operate with that same reliability, which is a big challenge for us in our flight test program. But all along, we've been building up to assure that the airplane has that requisite reliability. So we'll be finishing that up in 2016 and then prepping for a delivery in the first half of 2017. Also on show at Farnborough is the new 787-9 widebody that Boeing will soon deliver to Japanese carrier ANA. We will receive uh, this uh, aircraft uh, the end of this month and we will put in the service maybe beginning of August. This aircraft is for long haul route to US or Europe from Japan. We very much satisfied this aircraft because this is very reliable and calm inside and fuel efficient.